Hi, my name is Ben Martin, and I want to welcome you to this channel, Disciple Parenting. This is a channel where we are attempting to build a community based on the idea that our children should be raised as disciples of Jesus Christ. And how in the world can we best do that as parents? So welcome. I am so glad you're here. And if you have ideas for videos, don't don't hesitate to let me know because I'm always looking for the questions that we need to answer. Now, I am the Children and Family Discipleship Pastor at Pioneer Memorial Church, and there's something about being a children's pastor that makes you wrestle with this verse. This is not going to come as a surprise what verse it is. In fact, I bet if I were to let you guess, each one of you would probably know exactly which verse I'm talking about. And that's found in Matthew chapter 19. And I just want to read it for you because in this, I think there is a message for us parents. This is starting with verse 13 of Matthew chapter 19. Then the little children were being brought to him in order that he might lay his hands on them and pray. The disciples spoke sternly to those who brought them. But Jesus said, let the little children come to me and do not stop them. For it is to such as these the kingdom of heaven belongs. And he laid his hands on them and went on his way. In this passage, I think that there is a huge nugget for what it means to raise disciples of Jesus Christ. I am going to make a two-part series. This is part one. Next week will be part two unpacking what this means. So I invite you to watch this and next week because you're not going to want to miss what this means for parents. So let's get into it. When Jesus said, let the little children come to me. He was completely making a huge countercultural statement. You see, in that culture of that day, there was a huge hierarchy of importance and children were completely and totally at the bottom. So nobody had time for children. In fact, if, if you were important, you were spending time with the other important people and the disciples believed that Jesus was the most important. So why would he spend time with women or children or Samaritans? But you see, Jesus did this every single time. Blind Bartimaeus, they tried to hush him. Zacchaeus, they tried to... Jesus had time for everyone, the Samaritan woman, the children, every single time Jesus seems to have time for those on the outside, those at the bottom of the totem pole, those on the fringes. They seem to be his specialty. So what, what can we as parents learn from this? There are two things that we need to learn from this. The first thing is we want to raise our children to understand that they are children of God. Behold what manner of love that we should be called children of God. What, is, what does that mean? It means that we're children of God, not because we're good enough, but because he's good enough. He has chosen you to be his child. It's unconditional love. And so we have got to raise children who feel loved unconditionally. The love that they feel isn't based on their performance. It's not based on how good they are or how good looking they are. It's based completely on the fact that they're your child. We want to raise children who feel love, who feel accepted. Does that mean that we don't discipline? No, because discipline is a form of love if done right. But we want our children to feel safe and secure at home in the love of their parents. Because when we feel help them feel loved, we are giving them a clear picture of who God is, a God who is love, a God who loves unconditionally. And home is a place where they have the opportunity to experience that first. So first, we want children to feel loved. We want them to feel loved 
Why? So that they can extend that love as well. You see, if, if we're disciples of Jesus, and he was inclusive, and he was always seeking out those on the fringes and bringing them in, in fact, his specialty seemed to be those who were on the outside. And if we're his disciples, then that also needs to be our specialty. We need to be seeking those who are on the outside and drawing them in. So, what does that look like? Well, I'm not going to lie, it's a little bit trickier in a pandemic. We can't just open up our homes and invite people in, but we can find ways to seek out those on the fringes and help them feel loved. We can model that to our children because we want to raise children who when they see someone sitting alone, at lunch or recess, they include that child. We want to raise children who are inclusive and loving at every twist and at every turn. So, can we do that without modeling? No. If they don't know what that looks like, if they don't know that this is what it means to be a disciple of Jesus Christ, then they'll never do it. But that's not all. Next week's video, we are gonna talk about what Jesus' inclusivity really means. Because when I include someone, that means, hey, let me sit with you. But when he includes someone, it is so, so much more. So we're gonna talk about that in next week's video. So you're gonna to want to tune back for part two of Let the Little Children Come to Me. Thank you again for watching. And remember, if you haven't subscribed, I invite you to do that now because we're gonna keep doing more content like this week after week. Bye.